Your Excellencies, the Majesty, Your Excellency, Secretary General, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor and delight for me to propose a toast to Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom, and Head of the Commonwealth. The Ghanaian people have very fond memories of the two visits she has made to Ghana during her reign. The first was in 1961, in the early years of our modern nationhood, when she was the guest of the celebrated first president of independent Ghana, His Excellency Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. The second was in 1999, when she was hosted by Ghana's longest serving leader, His Excellency President Jerry John Rawlins. On both occasions, we remember the elegance, style, and sheer joy she brought to the performance of her duties. We remember with equal fondness the warmth and graciousness of her welcome when she hosted President John Ajikum Kufo during the state visit he paid to Britain in 2007 to commemorate the happy anniversary of Ghana's Golden Jubilee i.e. the 50th year of Ghana's independence from British colonial rule. It was an unforgettable visit, and I, as Ghana's then foreign minister and member of President Kufour's delegation, had the rare privilege of spending two nights in this magnificent historic palace. All the members of our delegation enjoyed every moment of our stay here and continue to cherish its memories, including the occasion when President Kufour got stuck in the lift with, <laughs> with Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. One of the most important aspects of this second Elizabethan age, which we have witnessed, has been the transformation of the British Commonwealth from an initial membership of five countries namely Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and then white rule South Africa, who were linked by ties of blood and race to Britain, to becoming now a 53-member organization of diverse, once colonized peoples from all the continents of the world, who have gained their freedom and sovereignty and are today equal members with Britain in the Commonwealth of Nations. The current Commonwealth comprises a third of the world's population. This dramatic transformation has been done peacefully and enthusiastically, largely due to the stewardship, guidance, and leadership of Queen Elizabeth II. Her Majesty has been the influence that has steered the Commonwealth to pay greater attention to our shared values and better governance. She has been the rock that has kept this organization sturdy and true to its positive beliefs. We have been made to understand that she will be winding down her duties as head of the Commonwealth. My toast thus takes on an added significance, for it falls upon me to express the depth of our collective regret that she would no longer automatically be present at our proceedings. The organization will undoubtedly be the poorer for it, as we shall miss her inspiring presence, her calm, her steadiness, and above all, her great love and belief in the higher purpose of this commonwealth of nations, and in its capacity to be a force for good in our world. Over the years, she has extended her customary courtesy and smoothened the entry into the club for new leaders, making them feel at home in her practiced and direct manner. This, be, this being my first shogun as president of the Republic of Ghana, I am one of the new entrants into the family and have become a beneficiary of Her Majesty's legendary ability to make you feel at ease and forget that you're nervous. Ma'am, together with all the new entrants 
and indeed of all of us present. I appreciate the hospitality, and I'm grateful for the welcome in these grand surroundings. It is my fervent hope that the deep love she has shown for this association will continue to light the way for all of us and our successors as we endeavor to establish firmly in a world where many traditional assumptions are under serious threat. The values of fairness, decency, freedom, and openness, which have been the object of her work. She will always be an icon of the Commonwealth. May I now ask all of you to be upstanding, charge your glasses, and toast the health, long life, well-being, and God's blessings on the head of the Commonwealth of Nations, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. The Queen. Mr. May, Secretary General, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you all here tonight. As Head of the Commonwealth, I am delighted to be able to host this occasion in the United Kingdom for the first time in many years. This dinner is always an opportunity for us to come together as friends and I'm grateful that so many of you are here with us this time. I know that all my family join me in wishing you a very enjoyable evening. Thank you.